So I finished up with this song. I had an argument with my, I had no argument with myself about what song was going to be in the middle. I had an argument about what song I would start with and what song I would end with. I saw the first argument, and I saw the second argument. S. Brian Wilson is a hero of mine. Yo. So it's a great honor to be able to do this, and this seems like an appropriate song to finish my little portion of the program with. Um, this is an historical song. It goes back um, to the 1800s, actually. And it tells the story of the Choctaw Indian people in America coming off of their Trail of Tears. There were six Trails of Tears. And there were six of them. And, uh, and the Irish people on the other side of the planet in Ireland, in the middle of their famine. And to make sense of the song, to understand it, I'll just tell you that much, and then to understand further, to put a little bit of stage lighting, I suppose, on it, know that the Queen of England at that time was asked to donate money to famine relief for the Irish people. She said, I will have to think about this. I will give you my answer tomorrow. She came back tomorrow, and she said, okay, I have decided. I will donate money to the Irish Famine Relief, but I cannot be seen to be playing favorites. And so I'm going to donate an equal amount of money to the dog and cat hospital. Oh. You figure that out. <laughs> so this is called Heroes and Survivors. survivors of a terrible time, two great peoples, separated by the sea, joined in understanding of a great calamity, oh great calamity. 1831, it was the darkest of their years, Andrew Jackson drove the Choctaw on the Trail of Tears, with a sailor and a rifle, on a thousand mile drive to the land of Oklahoma, only half would survive. They called it a reservation. It was a cage without a wire. What a hundred years later, the Germans would admire, surrounded by a state. They held the lock and key to the vision of their future and their free humanity. Oh, their free humanity. the countryside with doom on every hand, starvation, desperation. Driven to extremes, they died eating grass, their mouths stained with green. Oh, their mouths stained with green. And it was the British Empire that held the lock and key to their island reservation and their free humanity across the hungry countryside. They walked a trail of tears through death and emigration, half the people disappeared. Half the people disappear. News travels fast. When it goes from hand to hand all across the mighty ocean to the Oklahoma land, and when the Choctaw heard the story of the Irish in their plight, they knew they were related, though their skins are red and white. Though their skins are red and white. And though their hands are nearly empty, and their lands are nearly bare, they collected all the money that they thought that they could spare, and they sent it off to Ireland. To their unknown new friends, seven hundred dollars, it was a fortune to them then. It was a fortune to them then. Now you may wonder 
at my story. You may marvel it is the worth, but I tell you there is goodness in the people of the earth. And I tell you there is beauty in the darkness of the days and a light to come shining. Blow the darkness all away. Blow the darkness all away.